Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Chi Chi's and Me Chihuahua Reality. I know it's been a while and I'm really sorry. I know that I promised a video once a week, every week, and you know how sometimes you can have the best of attentions, but life gets in the way? Well, that's kind of what happened and I'm so sorry you had to wait so long for this video. Hopefully, I'll get my stuff together and be able to upload more, more often. But today, we're gonna to talk about the dog bully. I'm not talking about the breed. I'm talking about a dog that is a bully. Just like children sometimes on the playground, like in kindergarten, can be bullies. It's the same way with dogs. How do you know if your dog is being a bully or if another dog is bullying your dog? What's the difference between play aggression and real aggression? All those questions will be answered in this video, so stay tuned. And plus, at the end of this video, I will introduce you to my beautiful new the newest member of our family, my beautiful little Corazon, or we call her Cora for short. So be sure and stay tuned, watch to the end, and I'll introduce Cora to you. You don't wanna miss it, she's just beautiful. everyone. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Linda, owner and editor of ChiChisandMe.com, my website, and of this channel, Chichis and Me Chihuahua Reality. I'm here to help you and your Chihuahua live the best life ever together. So what qualifies me to help you with your Chihuahua? Well, that's a very good question and I'm glad you ask. I have put a link below in the description below that will take you to my about page that will tell you all about who I am, what qualifies me, it, it will introduce you to my chihuahuas and tell you all about my mission. Do you take your dog, your chihuahua to the dog park, maybe daycare, or even on walks when you encounter other dogs? Have you ever come across a bully? Once I was taking my chihuahuas for a walk in the park and I saw coming toward us a man with his dog. His dog was a bigger dog, a muscular dog, and he was lunging towards my dog like he was really trying to get to us. He was pulling so hard that even though his owner was a pretty muscular guy himself, he could hardly hold that dog back. So was that dog wanting to play with my dog or was he being aggressive when he got to my dog's would they have been in big trouble, perhaps killed? How do you know? Sometimes Chihuahua owners tend to ignore or dismiss their Chihuahua's aggressive behavior because after all, they're so little, what harm can they do? Well, believe me, they can do a lot of harm to a child, a baby, an older adult. Whatever you do, please don't let your dog's aggression go without being addressed. If you have a problem, then I have a link below that will take you to a website where you can find qualified, certified dog trainers and animal behaviorists in your area. If you have a problem with your dog's aggression, if you have a question that I can answer for you, put it in the comments below. I'll be happy to address it and help you in any way I can, but I cannot really help through my website or here on this channel with some serious problems because I would have to be there with you and your dog. But you can find a certified qualified trainer. Just click the link below. Some dogs, including chihuahuas, are play aggressive. What that means is that when they're playing, they may growl, snarl, even nip at another dog, but actually they're only playing. It may sound scary, and you may want to grab your chihuahua because you think that they're being aggressive or that one of them is gonna get hurt, when actually they're only playing. So how do you know the difference? Well, for one thing, body language. 
Here's a photo that will show you a dog in play stance. He may be growling and snarling and even, you know, wanting to nip or lunge at another dog, but according to his body language, he's only wanting to play. <laughs> On the other hand, if a dog is showing the body language of standing straight up, ears back, lip curled, hackles up, that dog is, and growling and snarling, that dog is probably not playing. That dog is about to do some damage to whatever it is that he is, that is in front of him, whether it's a child or another dog. So what is a dog bully? Well, as I said earlier, it's kind of like a kindergartner on the playground. He wants to play with the other kids. He wants to be like, but he just hasn't learned the proper play etiquette. Dogs can be that way too. They might not know proper play etiquette. They might want to play, but they get overly enthusiastic about it. They might knock others around or chase them mercilessly, mercilessly or growl at them. So how does a dog become a bully? Well, all dogs have different movements and body language and cues that they learn at a very early age when they're with their mother and their litter mates, usually before they're eight weeks old. Some dogs miss out on that opportunity to learn and they might become what uh, sort of like socially stunted. They might be easily aroused and I'm not talking about sex, although sometimes spaying and neutering your dog might help in the situation, but they become easily aroused or over energetic and they sometimes have, have a difficult time calming down. Dogs use their whole bodies as language or communication with other dogs. Their ears, their their eyes, their tails even. And sometimes, even though this may not apply to chihuahuas, sometimes dogs with cropped ears or bob tails give off the wrong cues because the other dogs perceive their cropped ears as pricked ears, which is a sign of aggression. Or they may not be able to see their tail wagging, so they just assume that they're being aggressive rather than wanting to play. There are also three things to look for when you're trying to figure out whether that dog or your dog is play being play aggressive or seriously aggressive but before we go into that real quickly i want to tell you training a chihuahua is not like training any other dog breed anyone can teach you to train a dog but it takes someone who knows the chihuahua breed to teach you how to train a Chihuahua. I have a book entitled How to Train a Chihuahua and it's now 30% off. If you're interested, then there is a link in the description below that will take you to that book and be sure and use the coupon co code that is also included with that link. So of the three things, number one, how to tell whether your dog or another dog is being play aggressive or seriously aggressive or being a bully. Number one, a bully is always the one who is chasing, nipping, growling. Proper dog play includes give and take, just like with children. Sometimes one child will share and then the other child has to share. It's the same with dogs. When they're playing, it's give and take. So they'll take turns. If they're chasing, for instance, one dog will chase the other dog and then they might eventually stop, pause, and then turn it around. The other dog is chasing that dog. That is proper dog play. Or when they're play wrestling, it's the same way. One dog might have one dog pinned, playing and, you know, nipping at the other dog. But with proper dog play, they will change. They'll switch places so that the other dog is on top. But if you've got a bully dog, that dog is the one that is always on top, always chasing, always bullying, knocking around, barking at, nipping at other dogs. Notice these two dogs playing in the park. Watch how they take turns, one on top, then the other on top. Sometimes play just isn't fun anymore. And when one dog is finished or is done and doesn't want to play anymore, he'll give the other dog the signal. Well, bully dogs either ignore or don't understand that signal and they continue relentlessly chasing, pinning, all of those things. A bully dog will just continue no matter 
the cues that the other dog is giving him that he's had enough he wants to stop sometimes a shy dog just doesn't appreciate being mowed down by another dog with a more physical play style and so that dog the shy dog might react more physically by lunging and growling at that dog to try to drive it away then there are shy dogs on the other hand that come across a dog with a more physical play style that will just shut down and they will go over into the corner or get as far away from that dog and the other dogs as they can. Sometimes it's just a matter of different play styles. Yep, dogs can have different play styles. I have or have had two dogs with different play styles. For instance, even though Pebbles is older now and really not real well, she doesn't play anymore. But when she did, she has always been a more reserved and shy dog. On the other hand, my Remedy Jane has the more physical play style. Now generally, two dogs who have the different play styles can figure out that they have different play styles and they will choose one so that they play together nicely. So I hope you got some value out of this video. If you did, share it. If you know someone that you think might appreciate it, then share it with others. Hey, next time that you're at the dog park or doggy daycare, watch for the body language and see if you can figure out which dog is being a bully. So while you're here, don't forget to subscribe. Be sure and ring the bell so that you'll be notified of my next video and hopefully it won't be quite as long. I'm going to try very hard to upload a video at least once a week or once a week or at least every other week. So like I said, sometimes life gets in the way, but I am going to do my best to make sure that I have videos up a whole lot more often. Well, as I promised, here is my beautiful little Corazon. I want you to meet. Cora. She is a beautiful, long-haired, six years old, long-haired, apple-head chihuahua. She is just the sweetest little thing. If you want to know more about her, I have put a link in the description below that will take you to her very own page that tells you all about her, where she come, came from, how we got her, and more about her background. So if you want to know more about Cora, then be sure and check out that link. And you will see Cora more and more in our videos. Keep watching, guys, and until next time, bye. Say bye. <laughs>